It has been 35 years since De La Salle University joined the University's Athletic Association of the Philippines, or UAP. In a span of more than three decades, the Green Archers men's basketball team have been a perennial title contender, making it to the finals 20 times and winning 10 championships. Yup, you heard it right, 10 championships. In our book, we were the champions in 1991. We'll discuss more on that in our next video, but for now, let's look back at the early years of La Salle basketball. Older generation of Lasallans would remember that Lasall was a founding member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association or NCA in 1924. Back then, the school was known as De La Salle College. The Green Archers won five NCA basketball titles. Two of those championships came at the expense of arch rival Ateneo de Manila. Among the legendary Green Archers who played in this era were Kurt Batman and Lim Engbeng, who both have their jersey numbers hanging in the school rafters. Lim Engbeng, known as the Eagles Slayer, led the Green Archers to two NCAA titles. He averaged 32 points per game in his final season and set a single game record for the most number of points scored in the seniors division. 55 points, a record that still stands to this day. But what exactly was the reason why LaSalle left the NCAA and eventually moved to the UAAP? On August 17, 1980, LaSalle squared off with the Letran Knights at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Students from both schools were at their barbaric best, taunting each other endlessly even before the tip-off. Physical play was apparent right from the start of the game, and all that taunting led to an altercation in the bleacher section between the supporters of both teams. Fans inside the arena began to throw objects into the hard court, and sporadic clashes erupted in the stands. As a result, the players from both teams rushed to the dugout for safety. So catastrophic was the atmosphere inside the Colosseum that a large number of spectators were hurt, prompting NCAA officials to call off the game. So serious was the riot that a great portion of the Colosseum was damaged. After careful deliberation, league officials considered replaying the game behind closed doors, but the Basketball Association of the Philippines, or BAP, then the governing body for the sport took matters into its own hands, ordering the NCAA to cancel the remainder of the basketball season. As a result, no men's basketball champion was crowned for 1980. The South tried to appeal for the games to resume, but to no avail. That's why by September 1980, De La Salle officially withdrew alliance with the NCAA. Fed up with the uncontrollable violence that was happening, it became the second university to pull out from the league after Ateneo de Manila left two years earlier, also due to violence-related reasons. La Salle then attempted to apply for admission to the UAP, but was rejected by member schools most vocal of which were UST and of course Ateneo, who insisted that LaSalle's entry would only renew their heated rivalry and the games might be blown out of proportion once again. With no college league to join, the Green Archers participated in various tournaments for the next six years with great success. They won the inaugural Philippine Amateur Basketball League tournament as well as the national open title in 1983. And in 1986, after much persistence, LaSalle was finally accepted as the eighth member of the UAAP. Finishing at the bottom half of the standings in their first two seasons in the league, the Green Archers' breakthrough season came in 1988. The team finished the elimination round in second place with an 11-3 record, including a first-round win over defending champion Ateneo, their first win over the Blue Eagles in the UAP. Led by veteran Tinto Pumarin, LaSalle advanced the championship round, setting up the stage for a title match with Ateneo, their first final series since 1974, when both teams were still in the NCAA. Looking to extend the series to a decider, the Green Archers fought tooth and nail all the way down to the wire. But in the end, the more experienced Blue Eagles were just too much for the final upstarts to handle. Carrying the lessons from their defeat a season ago, the Green Archers won their first UAP title the following year. With sophomore Xander Jr. Pot leading the way, Casal defeated top seed FU Tamaraus in two tightly fought matches to clinch the crown. Then Pot was named Season 52 Most Valuable Player. With an intact core and coach Derek Pomarin at the head, the Green Archers are all primed up to continue their basketball dominance into the next decade. 